but knows us for decades. Excuse me for revealing that, but coffee houses in America are an important thing. And they've been around for not too long, 40s, 50s, 60s, kind of blanked out in the 70s. And now, in the late 80s, we're gearing up for the 90s. And this man knows a lot of beat poetry that was never written down, that he can recite by heart. Um, so I would like for you to welcome Leonard Wolf. So three of them ran in my head once. Um, but which one do I want? Oh, everybody needs too much sex. <laughs> to be followed by the appropriate juxtaposed prayer one line, one liner. Joy to the world, the Lord is. Now we find out how sophisticated. Uh, the name Allen Ginsberg appeared just a few moments ago. Uh, let's not forget this man. He, with, with a word, cracked the world. It has never been the same since. The way you are thinking now, the world as you conceive it in your minds, is not the same world as your grandparents and perhaps even some of your parents defined. Because of this man. Everybody has heard about how, whether they've heard the poem or not. But there are other aspects to the man that I want to share with you. Alan Ginsberg's song. The weight of the world is love. Under the burden of solitude, under the burden of dissatisfaction. The weight, the weight we carry is love. Who can deny in dreams it touches the body, in thought constructs a miracle, in imagination anguishes until the war. When was Snorri? 
Yes, that's what I wanted. I always wanted. I always wanted to return to the body where I was born. 